Hey guys, it's your boy Dave from the Brothers of the World podcast. Uh, first, I want to thank you guys for reaching out and um, asking me about my reaction for the, the match that we just saw against Inter versus Juve, the Super Copa. I'm a big fan of the show. Um, every time the Serie Sit Down pops up on my Apple uh, podcast, it's one of the first shows that I go to. So it's a pleasure to really be be uh, doing something with you guys. Um, the match, man. I went into the match, honestly, uh, as confident as you can be going into a final like that. Because, um, of course, being a derby and being a final, uh, form is out the window. Uh, regardless of how well we, we've been doing in the league, <clears throat> eight wins in a row. Uh, Juve haven't been too shabby either, but we're still the most informed team in the league. Uh, that's out the window in a match like that, and uh, that was pretty clear to me today. Um, we did start quite well. We started well. Uh, we missed a sitter with Lotaro, and um, there was a penalty that uh, some interest see, including myself, uh, feel that we should have had, and we, unfortunately we, we were not given. Um, after that, you could tell that the team were a little, a little flustered. They were giving the ball away uh, carelessly, and that's what led to us conceding with McKinney. Um, of course, at that moment, um, you know, football is a game of episodes. At that very moment, it looked every, things looked bleak, uh, to be quite honest with you guys, because we know who the coach is. It's, it's Allegri. He's liable to, after getting that, that first goal, regardless if it's the, in the 15th or in the 50th minute, to set up and set up shop and make sure that you're never able to break him down and um, keep what he has. Uh, Fortunately for us, um, we were able to react right away. Uh, we were attacking, and Zeko used his width, his uh, veteran ability to pretty much manufacture a penalty, let's be honest, because to me, this penalty was more of a makeup core, more or less, because um, the one that was not given on Barella was probably more evident than the one that was given on Zeko, where we could argue that Zeko had his part in creating that. Whereas with Barella, you could see Chiellini's contact on Barella which was more than what Dumfries had on Alexandro, for example, for that penalty that was given. But I digress. Um, we were able to get that penalty. We uh, we equalized, and thank God, second half, it was all enter. Uh, we came and we, we dominated possession, as it was expected, of course. The numbers show it. And Juve, um, let's give him some credit. As depleted as they are, missing guys like Delic, Bonucci not being fully healthy, Quadrado, who's been a huge player for them, uh, Dybala not fully healthy, not being able to start. Chiesa, who's been a huge loss. Uh, we have to tip, well, I personally have to tip my hat to them. Um, they show that they still have the remnants of a team that, that has dominated Italy for the past decade. And they still have that mentality. Uh, they gave us a run for our money. And had it been a different day, they could have won in, in, in a funny way that they usually win. They were just one Dybala magical moment away from, from being, beating us. And... Um, I, I'm not going to lie, uh, a lot of times where the ball was rotating to him, um, I kind of felt like it was coming. I'm glad we were able to to stay concentrated on him and um, not allow him that that slight little moment for him to, to, to hurt us, as we saw over the weekend versus Roma. Um, in those matches, man, especially when it's, it takes more than 90 minutes and it's going into extra time as it did today, you see that uh, the energy level starts to drop on both squads. And that um, it's, it becomes more of a battle of wit. Uh, not wit, but will. You know, uh, it's who wants it more and who has that extra thing in them. Uh, unluckily for, for Juve, um, they had Chiellini at the back, um, who is the guy that has that grinta for them. They needed somebody similar to Chiellini in the front. Um, Dybala is not in full, in full form. Uh, he could have been that guy for them. But for us, Inter, we had Sanchez, who's a champion, regardless of what people want to say. He's a champion for, for Chile, and he's won at Barcelona and everywhere he's gone. Uh, he had that champion mentality. He had that extra step that we needed for him to be able to read that ball of Darmian and, um, and get us that winning goal. And as he said in his, in his interview after the match, that's what champions do. Um, all in all, all us Interists, we were very happy. Uh, we hope that this is the first of many trophies under Inzaghi. Uh, personally, it's, it's somewhat of a relief. I think it will be for Inzaghi because, of course, there's a lot of pressure and, and a job like that. And um, he will be more relaxed, and hopefully we, could, we can kick on because I believe that team is right at the beginning of a cycle. Uh, looking at the starting 11, only Zeko and Perisic need to go, in my opinion.
all in all, I don't want to be too long. Again, I want to thank you guys for reaching out. Um, please uh, reach out to me. I'm on uh, Inter for Forza Inter Haiti. And also my podcast, Brothers of the World Podcast. You guys could find us at B-O-T-W Pod on Twitter. Also on YouTube, Instagram, all of the platforms. And we're, we're, we're putting out a lot of content. So I'm sure you guys will hear from us. Again, thank you guys. And I'm looking forward to listening to the episode.